I really think if you have young children that your home needs a playroom. My little girls are only gonna be little girls for a window of time. You wanna hold on to those moments as much as you can. So why not create a place that fosters that, that helps their imagination grow, that has a little bit of wonder and some whimsy and, and some magic. I have a three and a half year old and a new baby and I wanted this to be a place that not just that they can play but also that they can make memories. And when they look around, I want them to realize how special it is. Uh, the dollhouse Ruby and Anna's grandpa made uh, for them to play with and the rocking horse we rescued from a thrift store and, and recreated. Everything that was selected for this room, a lot of thought went into. I really tried to tap into their personalities and, and what they really love to do. Ruby loves to help me in the kitchen, so I thought this room definitely needs a play kitchen. Also, the artwork that hangs on the wall above her little play kitchen, my grandmother made and she painted when I was a little girl, when I was Ruby's age. A new addition to the playroom is the fairy door. We have a fairy living in our house. Her name's Sparkle and she comes to visit the girls when they're, when they're being good girls or, or overcoming a challenge. And it is so fun to watch their imaginations, to watch you know, the wheels turn in Ruby's head as she's talking to Sparkle um, or uh, imagining that she's making me some tea or cooking me some dinner. Sometimes we'll just plop down on the rug and read a story. It doesn't have to be really formal to make memories. I just truly love being a mom. That's it. And I want my little girls to be little girls for us to make memories in here as a family.